like I said, we were the greatest beauty players that ever lived in my group, Arnold and all of us. So uh, and that's how we learned to play. And, and, and talking about that, I would, what I would do, I'd go out on the practice range and I'd make a swing, say, at this first little uh, a pole right here. And if I hit a real good solid one and it got to that pole, I know if I make a real good swing with this club, it's going to get there. But if I made three or four swings and it didn't get there, I know well, I, I, I got to get my pitching weight. I've got to get something else. It's not going to get there. And so why, why, why uh, uh, limit yourself just to something you can't do? Give yourself the benefit of the doubt in, all, in every club you hit. Give yourself the benefit of the doubt because the idea is to go to here to the green. From here to the green. Let's get on the green as quick as possible and then make our one putt or two putts, make our par and go to the next hole. Because what does that do for us? That gives us a positive attitude. Instead of we hit one way over here and hit one over there and then hit one up on the green and two or three putt, we make a five or a six and oh my God, now I've got to really play like hell to catch up. And what does that do to you? That gives you a negative uh, idea the whole day. So what do you do? That's the first thing you want to do. Remember, playing golf is play that first hole. That first hole is very important. Play it to make your par. Now you've got a positive attitude to carry on through the rest of the day. And so, uh, Stan, you can tell about some of these. Of course, some of this stuff, my gosh, am I, man, are you kidding? <laughs> I, I, I passed that stage. My old back's gone. I can, I can hardly walk. Now you want me to hit a ball? Like, Woo! Well, again, it depended on exactly what kind of shot I had to hit. Whether I could hit a run it up there, I had to pit it over something, over a bunker or something. In our day, you see, we didn't have these real fine greens like they have today, or had all the bunkers. We just, we just had to try to. Basically, we played a little pitch and run game like they play over in England back in our day, because we didn't have to play all those crick, crazy trick shots, because we didn't have that many many, many problems to, to to cope with. So, a lot of times, if I if the pin was way back there, well, I'd take this club and whop it and hit three-quarters of the green and let it run back there. But if I didn't think I could do that, well, I might take my pitching wedge and hit it four, five, or six yards short of the green and then let it run up there. Just depend on, on the shot, what, what I had to do is how I'd play that shot. So there are all, all different kind of ways to play with these clubs. And so Stan will tell you, 